Hey guys, welcome back to another WD Detailing video. I'm RJ, and today we have the truest barn find that we've ever found, which is a, I believe, a 1951 DeSoto Deluxe. Uh, it could be anywhere from 1948 to 1952, but from the research we've done, we think it's a 1951. Not that that really matters that much. Uh, this thing has obviously been sitting for a really, really, really long time. We were told that it was put away sometime during the late 50s, maybe early, early 60s. Um, so it's probably been sitting for 60, maybe even 70 years. Um, but this car was made by Chrysler in order to compete with other mid-range, mid-level vehicles like Oldsmobile, Studebaker, and Hudson. And uh, I had never even heard of DeSoto prior to this, but uh, apparently it was a car for the middle class and, and as far as all the engineering that they did on this particular vehicle, it, uh, it was a great bargain for your, your dollar at, at this point in time. So the owner of the vehicle asked us to come up and pick it up for her and then take it back here to clean it up as much as we can on the exterior. Unfortunately, the interior is pretty much completely gone. Uh, looks like mice or rodents have, have eaten the whole interior just about. So uh, we probably won't be touching much of that, but the goal is to clean this up, maybe do a light polish if it's even applicable. We're gonna see as we kind of move along. And then we're gonna take it down to the repair shop, our good buddy Ray, and, uh, and they're gonna try and get this engine to turn over and hopefully find a buyer um, who will restore this or uh, try and get it back on the road and drive it around. There's not that much rust on it being that it's sat for so long, at least structurally. So it might be a good candidate for a complete rebuild. Um, but as for now, we're just gonna clean it up and see if there's any, uh, anything really worth saving on this uh, jalopy. So taking a quick look over the car, first of all, let me tell you guys, moving it was a big pain. This thing was really heavy, um, but it has a really cool hood ornament right here. I believe that is DeSoto himself, but the car itself, before we even started cleaning it, looks wise, it seemed like it was in decent enough condition that maybe there was something that we could do with it. But as we went along with the detail, that is going to be for you guys to decide whether you think that this was savable. So with that being said, I want to hop into the question of the video. So leave your answers in the comments below. Do you think that our mechanic friend is going to say that this car is worth saving or is it going to cost way too much money to bring this thing back to life? What do you guys think Ray is going to say? So the first thing that we did was use our van and pull this car out of the garage because we didn't want to get this dust all over the floor and have to clean it up later. So we made it easier on ourselves and washed the car outside before bringing it back inside to finish the wash. Now see how gross and brown these white walls are? Watch the magic that an SOS pad does to bring them completely back to life. It's actually astounding. Now the first step for this car, because you know, the paint was in absolute pristine condition. We didn't want to scratch it. We went ahead and we foamed it down. That way we could break up a lot of that dirt that was on the surface. And then when we went ahead and pressure washed it, it made it a lot easier to get it all off. <sighs> Now, while we're pressure washing the car, I want you guys to think of all the pounds and pounds of dirt and dust that are falling off of it and how satisfying that is. If you guys enjoy this part, please don't forget to like the video and subscribe. It really helps us out. And by liking the video, that shows us you're enjoying it.
Now opening up the hood and taking a look underneath, leave a comment down below if you guys know what kind of engine this is. I'll be very impressed if you could tell me just by looking at it. All right, so now that it's all washed and dried and stuff, uh, what's the plan? It's a very good question. Um, after further review of looking at this car, I think uh, this was the first wash in 70 years and probably the last wash that this DeSoto is ever going to have. Um, with the way the interior is, obviously in really, really bad shape. It looks like the floor pans actually completely rusted through. I didn't notice that before. Um, all the upholstery work, the headliner being trashed. Who knows if any of the electronics work? Um, likely not. Likely nothing in this car works. And it would probably need twenty-five to thirty thousand dollars in order to actually make it a fully functional and running vehicle um, and to get it back on the street. And unfortunately, you can find DeSotos in pretty decent shape that run and drive um, for like. Ten to fifteen thousand dollars. So, uh, the sad truth is that this was probably um, we, we tried our best to save it. We tried our best to see under all that dirt if there was, you know, any worth saving. But at least that's my opinion. We're gonna take it to our buddy Ray down the street, who has an auto repair shop. We'll get his uh, his opinion on it. But uh, you're but telling I'm, me you don't want to 
take all of this and clean it up. Clean what up? <laughs> well, at that point, what do you what do you got to clean back there? There's mice. It's just been destroyed. It's it's sad. It's gotta uh, get ripped out. Yeah. So the Soto died in the '60s. I think the actual manufacturer did, and unfortunately, this DeSoto. Probably it's last year, 2022. So yeah, with that being said, if you guys are avid viewers of our channel, you know we'll take on any challenge. And this was one that we knew as detailers, we had to step back and determine whether it was worth our time to actually continue going forward. And honestly, in our opinions, it was more likely that this car is gonna end up being a parts car rather than being completely restored, but that's up to you guys. If one of you want it, you can contact us on Instagram and we will get you in contact. But we know you guys like seeing us do the impossible. And unfortunately, this one is so far beyond the impossible that we knew it was time to call it. So we loaded it up on our trailer and we took it over to Ray's to see what he would say. All right, guys. So we made it to the repair shop and we're here with my good buddy, Ray. We actually went to middle school, high school together. I've known Ray for 10 plus years and he was the one that actually told us about this car. He organized everything with the owner and uh, he's going to be the one that either handles the sale of this vehicle or the repair. Uh, but I guess the real question is, do you think it can be repaired? I think it can be repaired. It just depends on how much money you want to dump. Okay, okay. Let me rephrase the question. Is it worth repairing? We'll, we'll leave the cosmetic stuff and maybe just, I guess, the interior good enough to be able to drive. How much do you think it would actually take to, to get this thing up and running and roadworthy? Probably to do the interior, get it up and running, you're probably talking 10 grand. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. And with other, with other examples that are, you know, around that ten, fifteen thousand dollar, you know, price range. Without, uh, obviously, this one, the body's pretty, pretty shot up as it is. And all the other ones you, you find online have have nice paint. So, um, unfortunately, at least in my opinion, this is probably more of a parts car than actually that's, a full refurb. That's what it'll probably end up going to. Somebody needs windows or little pieces, parts, steering wheel. Yeah. Steering column auto. That's what it'll probably end up going for as a parts owner. Right, right. But if there's anyone online that wants to make an offer on it. Um, you know, if you have a DeSoto build and you're like, man, I really need a second one, I need a parts car, uh, you can reach out to us at our Instagram, wd.detailing, Brent will link it, will link it below. Uh, you can reach out to us. If we think that you're serious, we'll pass you along to Ray and then you guys can handle and, and negotiate and, and see if, um, and see if you can strike a deal. Um, but are you guys actually gonna tinker at all and see if you can't get the engine to turn? We're gonna see if we can get it running. Yeah, because if the engine turns, I mean... Then it's worth something. There's at least potential. So, so she might not be out of the graveyard just yet, but I think that she'll probably end up there. So, a moment of silence. <laughs> all right, well, Ray, thanks for organizing this. I'm sorry to drop this off in your lot. Oh, it's all good. It looks better in your lot than my lot. Um, if you guys liked the video, if you liked our attempt to try and save this piece of history, uh, drop a like. If you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button, and we'll catch you next time.